Beast Slayer. I'm glad to see you. Daphne, I didn't think you would be. The path I set you on is fraught with danger. You could have been killed, or given up. No danger could have kept me from seeing you again. Maybe you're getting ahead of yourself. Maybe. The pelt from the Callisto bear. I wish I'd had the chance to see this creature in the wild. It must have been stunning. It was. But there are other things on this earth far more beautiful. And wild? If not, then where would the challenge be in pursuing it? I'll return when I have more pelts. I should be careful. High security here. No, you don't! Fighting me would be your last mistake! Yeah! 
Come on. Aphrodite, Artemis, Athena, mothers and daughters of Olympus, please lead us to safety. We can't lose anyone else. I'm none of those, but I am Alexios Hemistios. What's wrong? My people are in grave danger. We lost our leaders and our warriors, and now our hunters have disappeared. Hunting parties can be gone for weeks before returning. What happened to everyone else? War. The fight between Athens and Sparta has reached their borders, so the men left to offer their swords. I fear that those remaining will be lost to the sons of Xerxes. I haven't heard of the sons of Xerxes. That's quite the name. Persians left over from the Battle of Thermopylae. They have no nation except the heritage of an ancient king, but their numbers are great, and ours are not. I would not trade our roles in this situation. Though killing is my specialty, and I can hunt and track. Do you deal in advice? I don't know how to address my people. They know something is wrong, and I'm not sure what to do about it. There is no easy answer. If you were to take it one step at a time, how would you start? I can't bring back the men, or stop the sons of Xerxes by myself. I know it's a lot to ask, but can you bring them home? Even if it's just bones, we'll need to honor them. I'll look for the missing hunters. My cousin Agnodiki volunteered to look for them. She hasn't returned either.
Round one. <laughs> I can't repay you, so I won't try. Uh. Hey. <whistles> Those bastards! Those bastards! Are you all right? Do I look all right? You survived. It's more than we can say for your companions. That was our warning. First our hunters, then the rest of the village. I need to warn our magistrate about the son of Xerxes and their plans. And I need to see her about my payment. I've lost much, but without you, I'd be joining my husband in Hades. For that, you have my thanks. Elochlis in Mevuli. You've returned. What news of Agnodiki and the hunters? Magistrate Perictioni, I have grave news. The sons of Xerxes are preparing to strike. Oh, it's you. Magistrate, this Mistio saved me from certain death. For double the reward, I hope? Finally, someone around here who knows how to use a sword. I've been trying to convince Perry to build our defenses since we first saw the sons of Xerxes creeping closer to the village. Ugh. This is my sister, Thea. She considers herself to be acting general of Lalea in the man's absence. It was your husband who shielded us before. Someone must do so now. Did you hear anything Agnodiki said? If we wait on the gods for help, we will be massacred. The only language the sons of Xerxes seem to understand is violence. Mistios, what if I hired you to protect the village? I'll do what I can. Good. Meet me at Kifiso Spring. I have plans for those sons of Xerxes. Hey! <gasps> Good to see your face again. Yours too. Lalea is the daughter of Kifisos, god of this spring. It's said that she lives in these pools. Thea, right? Beric Dioni told me you've been acting as general. Though, from what I saw earlier, you and your sister don't see eye to eye. Perry would die folded in prayer before she asked for my advice. Her distraction has allowed the sons of Xerxes to advance. And now we are on the knife's edge waiting for the slaughter and we have done nothing. I must prepare myself to fight and hopefully the others too. Can you teach me? Your sister says you act like a general. Let's see if you fight like one. I'm ready.
Well, that was humbling. The sons of Xerxes won't be as kind. No, it's a good wake-up call. One I wish Perry could have. But Big Sister always knows best. Sounds like she's always giving you a hard time. <laughs> you could say that. Acting like the hero while I do the dirty work. Now you have the eagle bearer on your side. Then you'll be the Perseus to my Andromeda. I seem to recall the legend saying that Andromeda was nude and tied to a rock. Was she? I'll have to remember that the next time I'm reenacting the myth. Lalea has a rich heritage for theater, though not so much for fighting. I've seen kings and commanders. You share their temperament. Perry married the governor. I am unwed. Spinsters do not become leaders. We exist on the fringes. Spartan women are taught to keep up with Spartan men. Lalea seems different. It is an oversight that I've been pushing to correct. When the men leave for war, our defenses are limited to a few hunters too valuable to leave. Or young men who can barely hold a spear. And now that the hunters are dead... We're more exposed to attacks from the sons of Xerxes than ever. We should get back to the task at hand. There's still a lot to do. You're right. But it's hard to know where to start. I need to train the others for war, but we are without weapons and armor. No blacksmith. But his daughter is still here. And what about the hunters you lost? We need to train replacements. There's also a camp close by. Likely the daughters of Artemis. They are not a friendly bunch, so we've been doing our best to avoid them. Not sure how useful I'll be to the blacksmith's daughter. Metiaudusa mentioned needing some materials before she can get started. Between you and me, she needs a little push. She's been helping her father at the forge since she could walk, but she still doubts her own abilities. Who should I train to hunt? I've met with some volunteers from the village. They've got a little experience, but need to have their bow arms straightened. You can find them on the edge of La Lea. I'll get to it. They tell me to make the weapons, but when you have them ask if I know how. Oh, who are you? A mercenary hired by the village magistrate. Oh, that explains why I don't know you. I'm Ethiadusa. Please don't tell me you need new weapons or armor. I don't, but the rest of the village does. Oh, that's worse. I thought you were the village blacksmith. Why are you so reluctant? I'm not the village blacksmith. My father is, and my brother is his apprentice. I just fetch wood when they need it. <sighs> now they all expect me to arm the village. Are you the only member of your family left? I'll know when the men return from war. Matter left with the ferryman last year. Is there any way I can help? 
I think Pater left the molds and tools nearby, but I need ore, and even then I might make something utterly useless. You look capable enough to me. There's a difference between knowing how to do something with your mind and knowing how to do it with your hands. Fair enough. What kind of ore do you need? Any kind of ore will technically do, but... But... My pater used the legendary ore when making a dagger for my mother. It is called Aphrodite's ore. Sounds strange, but it's true. How did the ore get its name? The legend says, Ephestos, god of the forge, found this ore and used it to make a helmet for his wife, Aphrodite. She loved it for its color. Because of that, the ore works in the hands of any smith. Where can I find the ore? It's hard to reach. It's down the cliffs at the Persian remnants in a secret cave just above the water. Sounds like you've been there before. I told you, I wasn't a smith. I was there to fetch what Pater needed. I'd go myself, but I need to hit up the kiln. I'll bring back Aphrodite's ore. Did you get that ore yet? I'll bring back Aphrodite's ore.
fight! <laughs> Thank you. 
Blood must be the cave. I can see why this ore is named for Aphrodite. That should be enough ore for Metiadusa. Time to head back.
I would have imagined the war would reach Lalalia. <laughs> I found the ore. Amazing. I'll ready the molds. Will that be enough for the village? It should be a good start. Oh, that reminds me. I have a problem. You and the rest of Lalea. I'm just one smith, and I can divide my time between making weapons and armor. But it will slow down the process. It would be faster if I just worked on one. Which should I focus on? Weapons or armor? We can't kill bandits without weapons. We'll just have to hope their archers have poor aim. Yes, you're right. Your confidence gives me hope. Thank you for your help.
This is the whole hunting party? We're all Alea has to spare since the sons of Xerxes killed our husbands and sons. You must be the Mystios Periktioni hired. I am. We may not be the big brutes you're used to, but we're versed in killing well enough. Well, we know how to fish. That's a start. We're ready. Do you have everything you need? Yes. Get your bows and we'll go. Tell me about Lalea. We've been blessed by both the waters of Kephisos and by Aphrodite herself. For she is the source of all beauty. All settlements need to be near water. Ours just has a lot. And you fish in the pools and the river? Kephisos provides us with what we need. Not enough in there to provide for all of Lalea. That's why we need you. With the sons of Xerxes so close, is there less game around? We've been relying more on fish and fruit. It's enough for now. Animals don't scream and beg for mercy the way humans do. I doubt they interest the sons of Xerxes as much. There's still food. Perhaps their numbers aren't as high as we think. They may not have enough archers to black out the sun with arrows, but they do have enough to fill every citizen of Lalea with holes. mention the bear. I'm already regretting being here. Jules, you need to raise your elbow to be level with your ear, keeping your arm straight and relaxed. Your arrow needs to be just below your eye, and then exhale on the Try to aim for the eye, so that you don't damage the rest of the meat. for when it gets angry. Then you need to run the other way. I've learned much from the bow. Aphrodite may provide, but Artemis acts. Lalea is such a beautiful place. I'm glad I can do my part to take care of it. Thank you. That should be enough to get you through the week, but there's still much to be done for Lalea. I've done all I can for these women. Time to get back to Perictione.
eagle bearer. Good. You can talk some sense into my sister. I've just spoken with the hunting party. They recovered new enemy arrows near the boundaries of the village. Scouts. Likely sent ahead to find weaknesses in Lalea's defenses. Of which there are many. That's what I've been telling Perry! We need to kill those scouts. Even if we do defeat the lion's share of the sons in battle, the scouts will cut our throats as we sleep. If everyone dies in battle, there will be no village left to defend. Agnoviki spoke of enemy weapons caches. If we destroy those, we'll cut the legs off our foes. What did Agnodiki find? She overheard the sons of Xerxes discussing supplies they stole from a nearby fortress and returned to their camp. Why are these scouts such a threat? What if we're away in battle and the scouts return to kill those we've left behind? We need to deal with this now. Which do we focus on? The scouts or the casses? I'll take care of the scouts. The last thing we need is an ambush. If you've chosen wrong, we'll be exposed with nothing to show for it. But if you must go, go now. Are you ready? I'll see you when it's done. What is it that Spartans say about shields? With them or on them? May the gods guide your path and the arc of your sword. Destroying the castles is strategic. Wandering through the woods looking for scouts is a waste of time. Just give up! <laughs> 